Fisher line had, had spent time uh, injured. They all seem to kind of come together and hitting it in their start at the right time here. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully they got it. They got it started at the right time. Yeah, you know they've all come out uh, with injuries and you know, all that. Sometimes uh, you know they respond out for one game and then they fall off or or they don't get started. So yeah, it was good to have them all going. Yeah, they they went head to head against a very good line. Um, obviously with suits and webs on the back end and. They responded uh, by, by shutting down their, their big line and, and you know, scoring against them all the time. So uh, a really good, real good effort from them. It seems like when you needed kind of a big goal or a big play the last couple of games, Marty's been there. What can you guys say about how he's played so far? Or last well, yeah, games? When, when Marty's really, you know, wheeling and dealing and doing his, you know, his type of game, um, you know, he, 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 he creates things. And, he, you know, and with Mike and, and, you know, Sergey starting to get up to speed here and, you know, you have three assists, so they're, they're really complement each other when they're going, and Marty can, Marty can be a catalyst, and he's finally getting his game going again. And, you know, he's, he's been picked up you know, right through training camp and, and, you know, into the regular season. You mentioned Tudor and Weber on the back end. Uh, I know plus-minus can be kind of an underrated, overrated statistic, but plus-four for them, and, I mean, they've just been on quite a run the last. They, they really have. I mean, if you look at, uh, at probably the even strength goals they've been on, uh, I know for a fact it's in single digits. You know we're 20 games in, so uh, that's how that's how good they are. With the with Erad, his speed still even at 30 years old, his greatest asset, I would say. Well, yeah. It, well, there's two things. Marty's always had the speed, but he's also had the uh, you know he's, he's got a pretty good skill set, but he's a, he's a determined player. You know he, he cares. He doesn't take games off. You know he's he's a uh, you know, he, he, he's one of those players that is around the puck or is chasing it down or going to get it or, you know, that, that's that's his game. You know, he doesn't play a, a you know, real easy game. He plays a, a workman game with a, with a real good skill set. It wasn't 28 seconds tonight, but they got a goal and I'm fairly sure where he responded again. That kind of gets how, just how valuable a train is that if you can do that off. It, it, it is. I mean, I... When you, when you can just sort of get the momentum right back, I know it deflates the other team because you know the other team gets excited and then all of a sudden you you score right away and it's like what, what you know all that excitement uh, goes away real quickly and you're in and those are probably you know bigger momentum swings than just scoring you know especially when uh, when, when you're, you're maybe up a goal like we were Toronto scores and you respond right back I mean they go we work so hard to get it, to get a goal now. We know further ahead, and that's that's a great response. And we've had a couple of those lately. Tonight we didn't need the, the, the TV timeout and the crowd standing to get us going. You laugh with Craig Smith on that deal, later? Uh, no, I didn't laugh actually, <laughs> not at all. Um, you know, we talked about being detailed, and uh, you know, right there, um, you know, it's it's game set and match. You know, at that point, and uh, he kept them in. Pecks had to make a couple big saves. Um, uh, Jeff Ren had to block a shot. I mean, that's where injuries come. That's where those details. I mean, um, by being trying to be a little fancy, it, it almost blew up in his face. I mean, that's uh, he'll, he'll learn from that. I'm sure he'll be on a few highlight films and, and stuff, and, uh, or low light films. But that's that's something that I'm sure he will not do ever again. Um, but uh, at the same time, um, you know, we we. We responded to it, and we'll be stronger for it. So it's, it's, it's a little bit of a, a learning moment. Is, is he the type of player who who will learn from that? He's not the type of guy who kind of brush yeah, it up. Absolutely, he's a real. And you know what? Everybody in our room felt bad for him. They'll be joke. We'll be joking and jabbing him. I'm sure next week or two. But um, he, I'm sure he will. He, he'll learn from it, and he'll he'll be fine. Face. Suter with four goals, as many as he had last year. Do you see anything different from him offensively? I don't. I don't see anything different. I just think, I just think that he keeps growing. Is, 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 you know, and we think Suits and Webs have been around for a long time, but they're, they're in the early twenties. I mean, they're they're still young men, so they they just more mature, a little more poised every year. I mean, you're going to see that for the next you know 15 years probably. The pace of this game was 180 degrees different than the last two. Uh, how do you adjust to that? Well, I think you know both teams are checking better, especially in the first. I mean, we talked a lot. There's a feeling out process. You know, you, you don't see the other teams a lot of times, and you don't get a feel for them. But 
what we talked about how fast their forwards were and how they their, their defense are extremely active in the, in the offensive zone. I mean, they'll, they'll have five guys below the, the hash marks in the offensive zone and no one at the point. And, and we have to concentrate on playing, sorting it out a little bit against them. Uh, coming in this game, the it, 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 game plan is pretty simple. If you play solid defense and shut down the big line, and you contain their defensemen from their offense, um, you're going to get some chances. And uh, they've got a young goaltender who's played you know, very well, and uh, you know, on, especially on the road, um, we knew we were going to get some chances, and we just had we knew we had to stay out of the box, and uh, you were able to do that. And we got some, you know, all our goals came from counters. Like playing good defense, they they, they they play a little bit of a high risk, high reward. They've got you know some personnel that are, are high end in terms of their skill level, and they're very active defense. And that's their that's the way they play, and they're hard to cover. But at the same time, if if you concentrate on, on taking care of business in your own end, you will get those counter type of two on ones, those long two on ones, and those you know those chip pucks to the neutral zone. And, They'll be in a bad coverage situation, so we were just patient that way. We almost played a little bit of a road game early, uh, that kind of our Toronto speed. So you got the, the weather the storm after that big save by Scrivens, and then of course Toronto scores a couple minutes later. Was that more of a weather the storm thing, or was it still you know, status quo as far as your attack? No, I think it was status quo. I, I mean, the first period we were a little too, wasn't a little bit too cautious. Um, you, you, if you watch us, we we're just defending. You think we're up by three goals or something, I'm just trying to get it out. So. We, just, we didn't create virtually nothing offensively, just other than the, their miscue by, uh, by Scrivens, and, and we were going to get it back to the net. And I think our, I think McGrath had a good chance uh, with, uh, with Smith, and, the, and the, those are only two chances that I could even think of, and they were, you know, they weren't great chances. Um, second period, we had some really good chances. You know, Fish had a fabulous chance, and, and, and Scrivens made a great save. So um, all those things said, uh, we got the job done. And, is this some of the best hockey you've seen X play? Yeah, I, I wish I wouldn't see him play have to play as good. Yeah, but he, he, he's had moments and stretches uh, of games where he's been just fabulous. But he's been, uh, you know, and all teams are, are focusing on on Pex now. I mean, even the, the Leafs. I mean, they were just keeping a guy on his in the third period, keeping a guy on his pads the whole time. And, and uh, you know, he's just he's six foot six foot five. He's very athletic. He finds pucks. It's a big advantage over some guys that are my size. Thank you. Thank you.